Hello everybody, so today's video is actually a makeup video and as you can see my face looks a little bit kind of brownie coloured and that's because I use a moisturiser that's tinted so it's kind of got like a brownie tint to it but don't worry when makeup like foundation and concealer is put on everything is fine so don't worry about it this is just my moisturiser so yeah I have moisturised today's makeup look is basically just me doing my makeup showing you the current products that I'm using testing out a couple of new things that I bought yesterday and basically just seeing what happens I think this video is going up on Valentine's Day um, but this isn't really a Valentine's Day makeup look because you can just do whatever makeup look you want on Valentine's Day so let's just get into the video so first of all, I'm going to be priming with my Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. And I've had this for quite a while now and it's actually really nice. It's one of those primers that makes your skin look really soft. I've just realised I don't have a mirror. Uh, I'm going to go and search for one in a second. I'm just going to rub this in. But yeah, this is a really soft primer. It just makes your skin feel so, so soft and I would highly recommend it. I have stolen a mirror from my mum's makeup bag. So, okay. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just taking my mirror. Ooh. Okay, stop playing. Right, so I'm actually going to be testing out a new foundation today. And this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I've heard so many people do reviews on this on YouTube. So I just really wanted to try it out. Um, I'm coming to the end of my ordinary foundation that I have and I just wanted to try something new. So let's give this a go. Oh, also I got it in the shade number 10 Ivory, which I think might be slightly too dark for me, but this is the second highest shade in the range and the lowest one was like really light. So I'm just going to take a little pump of this. Well, right, I've taken one pump just to kind of see how it is. And I'm going to take my little foundation brush and just start to kind of blend it in really Okay, so far in terms of colour match, um, I think it's a pretty good match for the base that I have. I did put a little bit of fake tan on last night, um, just a little bit because I knew that um, this is slightly darker and it matches that perfectly. Um, but I think no my normal face, it would be just a tad darker. It does look a little darker in real life than it does on camera, but it's not so bad. In terms of the finish, it doesn't look cakey at all, which is obviously really good um and yeah it looks nice it is um definitely full coverage like it's covering very well um it is you know obviously a little bit thick so you have to kind of work with it quite a lot it doesn't just easily blend in I'm going to be concealing using my collection lasting perfection concealer this one is in the shade number one fair so that's the lightest shade and I'm just going to kind of pop this underneath my eyes just to brighten up a little bit especially because my foundation is a little darker and I pop it kind of in like the highlighty areas of my face where's that brush gone and then like blend it in I do sometimes spot conceal with this just slightly um, but today because this foundation is actually really really full coverage I don't need to and I'm not going to. I'm going to take my natural collection um, powder and this is a loose powder. It's translucent and it's white so it, it looks like this. It's actually meant for baking um, which means kind of setting your under eye and stuff like that by like packing it on but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of powder it all over my face. Um, and yeah, it's a good it's a good powder and a good price. By the way, with these lights on, everything always looks a lot more shiny on my face. Like it highlights my face so much in terms of oil. Um, so in real life, my face doesn't actually look as shiny as it looks on camera. 
I'm now gonna take my bronzer from MUA. This is the Bronzed Perfection and it's matte. And obviously because I have oily skin, sometimes I do quite like to go for a matte um, bronzer. So I'm just gonna like take a little bit of that and I definitely need this mirror <laughs> and kind of just pop it in the areas where I like to bronze. And I'm now going to blush. I love blusher. Blusher is my life. It isn't, but we could just say it is. Uh, blusher is just amazing. And I actually bought, oh my God, yesterday. Yesterday I went into Tesco's with my mom. They had so much cheap makeup reduced, like so much. I bought this bourgeois, um, this bourgeois blush um, in the shade 16 Rose. Coupe. oh my god I've read that wrong okay it's in French or something I'm not even going to attempt but anyway I bought this blusher and it was 80p reduced from eight pounds that was ridiculous me and mum were there for some time like looking through um actually I only bought two things from the sale but yeah so excited but yeah so it comes with this little brush I'm not going to use the brush just because I'm not simple as that I'm gonna use my own brush and it is actually really pigmented I did actually test it out yesterday when I got home because I was too excited um, but yeah, so it is quite pigmented, so I am gonna be quite subtle with it. Um, I'm not sure how that's coming through on camera, but it's just a really nice kind of subtle pink. Adds that element of shimmer, and yeah, really nice. Ah, uh, yeah, really like that. First impressions of this product is it's nice and pigmented, a brilliant colour, love the shimmer, perfect. And for 80p, you can't go wrong. Okay, now I'm gonna be delving into my little makeup bag and I'm gonna get out my highlighter. This is the MUA um, Shimmer Highlighter and I think this one's in the shade Pink Shimmer. I've had this for so long, it's been in so many videos. Um, but I'm just gonna pop this on my face, up oh, my cheekbones and everywhere else. It is a nice highlighter. It's one of those highlighters that gets a lot more pigmented as time goes on. Like the more you use it, the more pigmented it gets. And it was only three pounds, so damn. I don't like my highlighter to be like, bam, in your face, blinding, kind of you need sunglasses sort of thing. I like it to be kind of subtle, but also you can tell I'm wearing highlight. Okay, so today for my eyes, I'm keeping it fairly simple. I'm using this sleek palette here, which my friend Leanne actually got for me for my birthday. So thanks Leanne. And this is called Vintage Romance 141. So that's the name of the palette. And I've used this quite a lot. I've used all of the shades oh, before. Um, and this is what they look like. So there's like obviously a variety of different colors. Today I'm gonna to keep it quite simple because I wanna do winged eyeliner and also a red lip. So I wanna keep the eyes quite simple. Um, but I'm gonna start off by using this transition shade here. Um, it's just a nice kind of brownie color. So I'm gonna pop that on my lid kind of all over. In fact, I need a mirror. Oh, there's one in. Oh, that's handy. That's very handy. So I'm just going to kind of pop that on my lid and also kind of into the crease um, gently just to kind of be quite subtle. Yeah, I've actually been doing some revision since the last clip you saw of me before I do my eyeshadow because my battery ran out so I had to charge that so I thought I might as well go do some revision but you didn't know that did you? You thought I just, I was just here. Anyway, I'm going to work a little bit more of that into the crease just kind of make sure there's plenty in there. I'm gonna keep it quite um, subtle. I'm actually gonna take this kind of purpley color here, like you can't really see it on camera, but it's actually kind of purpley brown. I'm gonna take a little subtle hint of that and it's literally the slightest bit, just kind of onto my lid, just to kind of give a hint of kind of, it's almost like a purpley brown. I'm going to work that slightly into the crease. It is slightly shimmery, um, but it's nothing kind of too much. Okay, in terms of underneath my eye, I'm actually just going to pop a little bit of the transition shade that we used at the beginning with some of that um, colour I just used then. Just kind of mix them together, pop it under slightly, and just kind of focus that on the outer part, mainly. 
Okay, and that is my eyeshadow done. So I've kept it very simple today. And I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows now actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. My eyebrows are something I'm not really liking at the minute. Like, I don't know why, I'm just not, but we'll just have to live with it. So I'm gonna take this, it's actually a natural collection brow pencil, but it's got a spoolie on this end. So I'm actually just gonna be using that to brush through my brows to start with. Oh, it's got a hair on it. No. Um, and I'm just gonna like brush through my brows like this just to get them all in place, get rid of any excess powder that we've got in there and just, I don't know, brush them really. Okay, so this is where the tricky bit comes in because I'm gonna have to do this on camera. I've got this, it says Veroni or something and it's an eyebrow cream in the shade number two medium brown. I got this from Beauty Bay I think or Amazon. I think it was Amazon actually, really, really cheap. And it's actually really good, it's a gel kind of wax type thing um yeah an eyebrow cream and it's just very good for like defining your eyebrows and kind of getting a very fake looking eyebrow not that i want my eyebrows to look fake but like they are very kind of like you can tell you've got product on your eyebrows so i'm just going to pop a little bit onto my brush and then start on my eyebrows this is difficult don't judge me Okay, done one, this is the other one. So I've got to do the other side now. Also, if you can hear a clicking sound, it's my camera clicking, focusing, messing around. It doesn't have to be clicking, but because I'm here on my own, I can't focus the camera on my own, which is annoying, but I didn't mind. Okay, so that is it for the wax part of things. And I know some people actually prefer my eyebrows without me doing anything to them. But you know, that's personal opinion. I I wouldn't say I prefer them without this or with this. I just think I've done my eyebrows for so long now that for me to change it, I would look at myself and think I'm scared because I look different. Um, but you know, I'm happy to leave the house and not do my eyebrows, but I'm not happy to go to sixth form and not do my eyebrows just because people will notice a difference and I just can't be bothered for people to just be commenting on my eyebrows. Like, oh, you haven't done your eyebrows today. Like, I just can't be bothered to do that. So I just like to keep doing it. Um, force of habit. And I'm just taking this little palette from Primark. I'm gonna take the darker shade and I'm gonna put it in my eyebrow in the inner part and then the lighter shade and like really pop it in the inner part and that just makes it look a little bit ombre. These are powders as well. So I'm just gonna do that now. Okay, so that's my eyebrows done. I never like this eyebrow. I always like this one. This is my favourite eyebrow um, on the left hand side, but not this one. Not so keen. Is that the left for you? It's the it's my left. My left. Now I'm just gonna pop through an eyebrow gel. This is a clear brow gel. It doesn't look clear anymore because it's got brow product in there, but it used to be once upon a time. Just gonna pop that through my eyebrows, like so. It just sets them in place and actually you would think, oh, this is a gimmicky product, but it really isn't. Like my eyebrows throughout the day do actually, like the hairs of them especially, especially when I put like jumpers and stuff on, like suddenly my eyebrow hairs will be like Shh. But with this on, it doesn't do that. So very happy. And this was just from Primark. It's just the Primark brow gel. Primark have got so much makeup right now and it's ridiculous. Like there's, and they're so good as well, most of them. Now I'm going to be using this mascara and this is the Rimmel London, Wonderf L Rimmel London Wonderfully Real Mascara. This is extreme black um, and intense and this is actually incredibly lengthening. And oh, oh, Keds, Keds, Keds. God, what did I forget, Keds? I forgot eyeliner. My God. Oh, thanks for reminding me. I nearly did mascara then. Right, this is gonna go very wrong and I will regret doing this and it will ruin the whole look, but let's do it.
Okay, I think that's my eyeliner done. Um, it's kind of a little bit like not how I particularly wanted it to look, but it's okay, like I can live with it. I haven't done eyeliner in ages, so I'm happy with that. It, it'll do, it'll do. Um, I like it when I look down, but I don't like it when I look up, but we'll live with it, we'll live with it. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with mascara. This is the Rimmel London Wonderfully Real Mascara, as already stated. And again, this is for lengthening your lashes. And when I use eyeliner, I like to use a lengthening mascara just because I feel like um, you just don't want your eyeliner to be kind of too prominent. Well, I don't anyway. That's why a lot of people wear false lashes when they do eyeliner. Okay, that's my mascara done. I don't usually do bottom lashes. I usually just do top lashes because it just runs down my face if I do bottom lashes. Um, I'm now gonna use a red lipstick, I think. I do either go with this one or with a red lipstick, but I think I'm gonna go for my um, red lipstick. I, this was a pound from Bourjois and obviously I got it from Tesco's yesterday in the sale. Um, but yeah, this was literally a pound reduced from God knows how much. Um, but yeah, let's apply this. I can always take it off if I don't like it, or if I don't like it with this makeup look. So this is my finished makeup look. It looks a little bit kind of orangey on camera and I know why it looks orange, because this is white, that's why. Um, but this is my finished makeup look. It's like winged eyeliner, red lip. You could make this red lip matte by popping a little bit of translucent powder, translucent powder over the top of it, um, which I might do. But yeah, like this look. I love kind of the red lip with the winged eyeliner and kind of a white top, which is why I went for this. So this is my finished makeup look and I will do some cutaway clips to show you the makeup kind of at the end. Um, just so you can see everything close up but give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please subscribe down below for some more makeup videos vlogs um anything i just film a lot of different videos and i will see you very soon goodbye